Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this uh, simple window in Blender and I made it simply because I just want to give the impression of a window with some curtains behind it and it's cut into this surface that has some displacement. Uh, so the window itself doesn't need to be complex. I'm going to orient myself, hit the num, cat, uh, num key 1 and just go straight on here and shift A bring in a reference image and I have this picture and it's going to orient the picture exactly where my camera is so I'm just going to scale it up for now and move it out of the way a little bit now I'm going to make a new mesh it's a cube and I'm going to try and get it to be about the same size as that window so I'm going to scale it accordingly Try not to orient my camera too out of whack because perspective is going to play a little bit of a role. Okay. Get it about there and I can move it over. Uh, I'm going to leave it a bit thick to start with and then I'm going to trim it down as I go. Okay, I'm going to move in and the first thing I want to do is offset with the bool tool uh, just a little bit of a second um, member for the window. It's kind of that outer frame. And I'm going to copy and paste it and just scale it down a little bit. And I'm going to pull it out quite a bit. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to push it in just enough to leave a little bit of a dent. And then I'm going to shift select the main window, shift control B, bring up difference, and it will get rid of that. Now I'm using the bool tool, and if you're unfamiliar, Check out my bool tool video. Okay, so now I've got that, and I'm going to do another piece that's similar. Um, I can just use the same window again. Copy and paste. Scale it down even a little bit more. And I'm going to do one more of those just to give it a little bit of depth. I think that might be a little too deep, but we'll see. Shift select the second one, shift control B, and oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I got two layers there. I'm happy with that. Now I can start to squish it. Uh, I did retain a little bit of thickness, probably thicker than the window was going to be, just so it would go inside of that um, wall that I built previously. Okay, so now I'm going to make uh, another mesh, a cube, and I'm going to bring it up. And now this is going to be the window cutout for the bottom. Uh, because this is a, a sash window, it's going to have basically a, a pull-up, right? And so this bottom part could go up or the top could go down maybe. Um, and I'm going to shrink the scale of that one. But I'm trying to get the thickness of it to be about the same. So I'm just eyeballing it and using the window as, as kind of a rough reference. I go back to... Um, that I might need to scale a little bigger okay, and bring it over here. So again, it's not going to be totally 100% accurate. It was close. Now for this one, the the depth really matters because I I want to like almost go through, and I can see into my geometry here. I think I'm I want to go through almost about halfway, a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to shift select and bull tool that one out. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go back uh, and I'm going to make a copy and paste of that one. Oops. Just select that one. Copy, paste. Move that one out of the way. And uh, now I'm going to shift select that and get rid of it. Now I'll use this top one. Again, not because it's the same size and I know that it works. And it's going to give me that little bit of trim in between the windows, or in between the sashes. And for this one, I'm going to pull it out a bit more. Okay. Should select that. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now all I got to do is cut out the paints. Uh, I'm going to do one more mesh out here, Shift A. And let's get these windows scaled right. I'll just use the hotkey S to get the scale going. And then I'll use the Gizmo to get it about as close as I can. 
Um, I'm just going to get it roughly the size and then put it on the window and see how it fits proportionally on my window. And I'll do that by copying and pasting it. Oops. I'll go back and do that again. Let's pull these forward. There we go. Copy paste. And copy paste. Okay, they're too big, so I'll just shift select them all and then start to shrink them this way. I don't know if this is the best way to model in the world, but I think it works. It works for me. Now my proportions are a little bit out of whack here. I don't know if they're exactly right, but um, now I can copy paste all of those and try and get them pretty accurate. Okay, not bad. Uh, let's select them all. Go a little bit taller. Get these top ones down. And just select these and bring them up. Yeah, I think it's going to look okay. Alright, so now I'm going to shift select them all again. Copy and paste one last time. You know, this is destructive editing because I'm going to get rid of all of these afterwards. Okay, that looks alright, but let's go right up to the top there. Cool. Okay, so I have them, and uh, lastly, just to make sure I don't have any extra copies of anything, I'm just going to like quickly move that out of the way. Okay, I don't have an extra copy of the window. Sometimes you accidentally copy and paste the, the window itself in there, which doesn't work. So I'm going to shift select all of those, and then shift select this last one. There's probably a more efficient way to do that. Let me know in the comments what I'm doing wrong and what I could do better. Um, but... And anyway, uh, at any rate, I made a window here. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it is a little overly thick, so, you know, shrink it down um, and, uh, you know, go with a pretty low poly mesh here. So this is how you make a window, really basic one, using the bull tool in Blender.